Okay, so I'm being honest here. You see, the Alienware M18 R2 is not the fastest or the best gaming laptop in the market. I mean, it can't even exactly be considered a laptop, considering it's 4.23 kg weight. And I'm pretty sure it weighs much more, because I have it with me right now, so I kinda know it. It is the largest and heaviest mass-produced laptop in the market right now, excluding the MSI Titan, which, by the way, is actually lighter than Alienware. So, yeah, big part things. However, with that much power, it needs cooling, and my laptop here runs the i9-4900HX RX 4080 with 32GB RAM, not VRAM, RAM, it's got 12GB VRAM, and 1TB SSD. It's got vapor chamber cooling since it's the RTX 4080, and 3 fans. In performance mode, the outer shell of the laptop has almost no heat, and heat dissipation is very impressive for this laptop. But if you accidentally touch the 360 watt power brick, your hand is toast. Now, that's when I had a thought. Would the laptop's performance improve if I cooled the power brick? Well, I tested this by placing a mini fan right next to the adapter and blowing the cold air into the adapter, like that. I mean, I live in Canada, so call the temperatures right now again. So yeah, a little bit more effective, I suppose. And I ran F124 to just test it and see if it works. And here are the two results. Now, as you can see, there's no difference. Like there's like the fluctuation performance might be a bit less with the cooling on the adapter, I suppose, but you know, realistically you can't see it. And maybe it's just, uh, my laptop was running at a different time, different time of day. I don't know, but there's no difference there. However, the fan cools the power brick enough for you to be able to touch it. And that means no second degree hand burn. In the long run, this means nothing, but science, or physics in this case, always says more heat is equivalent to more stress. So maybe the power brick in the long term might be better off if it's cooled. So like it won't like set itself on fire because honestly, every time I run any game for about two or three hours and I touch the power brick, I'm kind of worried that it will catch itself on fire. Now, there's no way of telling whether the long-term thing actually works now as my laptop is only 3 months old. But maybe in about 3 years, I'll give you an update.